you uh, might have let yourself go a little bit over the holidays. That's okay, I did too. And if you're like me and most Americans, you probably have some New Year's resolutions that have to do with fitness or diet or getting in shape. Huh. The thing is though, according to the fitness tracker app Strava, um, people have a huge spike in activity at the beginning of January, and then it starts to level off right around week three, which, if I'm any good at editing, is right when this video should be coming out. By the time we get halfway through the year, the vast majority of people have quit their New Year's resolutions. So, how do we make sure that we stick with our resolutions? How do we make sure that we exercise not just for January, but forever? <sighs> Hello there. You know, that looks like it could be a good start. Like an Ethernet cable. How do you turn this thing on? Uh... I've got a degree in electrical engineering, and that means that I know for sure that this treadmill has a mad case of poo brains. What does that mean? It means it's got poop in its brains. So it doesn't turn on, but you can still walk on it. Like, I'm pretty sure this is burning calories. So this guy here is some kind of a sensor that can detect magnets, and on this wheel here, on this belt pulley, you can see here is a magnet. So every time this magnet passes by the magnet sensor, a little blip gets sent to the poo brains over there. So if you count up how many times this magnet passes by the magnet sensor every second and you do a little math, you can figure out what the equivalent ground speed of this tread is, or how fast you're running on the treadmill. There is a game called Death Stranding, and this video is not sponsored by Death Stranding, but I am obsessed with it. Uh, it's objectively not a good game. And yet I've still put like a solid 50 or 60 hours into it. I, j I couldn't even, I couldn't begin to even explain this game to you though if you haven't heard of it already. This video would be an hour long. I just basically, um, it's like if uh, Breath of the Wild had a baby with Neon Genesis Evangelion. Antimatter and matter were, were unbalanced at the beginning of the universe. You're and Norman Reedus, you're literally Norman Reedus. Explodes, but his body's fine and his soul can make it back there. That part doesn't really make Delivering a lot of sense. packages in the apocalypse. And that's it. You, you walk think about like Amazon Prime members who got really into buying things. Yeah. It turns out the afterlife is real. So Norman Reedus can like throw his pee and poop grenades at these ghosts and it makes them go away. It's still stupid. What? It doesn't matter that it happens in real life. It's still yeah, stupid. stupid. You have to manage your cargo and you have to figure out where your center of gravity is and how much, how many kilograms also, you can carry. Also the whole time strapped to your stomach for other reasons, plot reasons. <sighs> The point is, almost the entire game is just walking around. So all I have to do is take the rotary encoder from the treadmill and use an Arduino to calculate how fast someone is walking on the treadmill. Then the Arduino can control a digital potentiometer that is connected to a PS4 controller. And that way, we get a treadmill that I can walk 50 to 60 hours on, no problem, that lets me play a game of Death Stranding as it was probably intended to be played. <laughs> Luckily, I have a very good friend who is very good at programming, who I basically have on speed dial. Michael Reeves! Why aren't you picking up my phone calls? Get this is locked. I'm looking for, what, what is going on in here? Why isn't Michael Reeves here? Michael Reeves doesn't live here. He died. Anymore. I need help to for a project. I need to program a microcontroller. A micro what? A mi like an Arduino. Like Peter, can you work with an Arduino? He could not. The RC relay, or it's an RC. Airplane it's like Rain Man guy. Peter Schreeple doesn't know much about programming, but he does know how to make amazing things happen with stupid, simple electronics. I once watched this guy make an airplane for dumping water on Jesus fires that had a brain made out of a relay and a wire that gets unplugged from another wire. And that's it. That, that's like if you made a bird that could fly and poop and its brain was just two neurons. I want to be like Peter. 
So let's see just how stupid simple we can make this. This is a relay. It's like a switch that you can turn on and off with electricity. And this one in particular is rated for 24 volts. So it should trigger right around there. And wouldn't you know it, when you're walking on that dead treadmill, the motor can generate just about 24 volts and up to 50 if you're really gunning it. If you take this relay and connect it directly to the motor in the dead treadmill, you can control a circuit and turn it on or off by walking hard enough on the treadmill. You can even take two of these relays, connect them to the motor with potentiometers, and then you can control two different circuits by walking at two different speeds with the threshold set with the potentiometers. This is a third party PS4 controller cause I'm not gonna waste a good one on this. The left joystick has two potentiometers for sensing up down movement and left right movement. There's also a push button that lets you press the joystick down as L3. So I can solder lead wires to the up down potentiometer contacts and the L3 push button contacts and connect them to the walking and running relays. Walking on the treadmill fast enough should turn the walking relay on and that just short circuits the pot contacts, which the controller should interpret as pushing forward full tilt. Then if I reach the running threshold, the running relay should activate and that shorts the pins on the L3 push button, which in Death Stranding is the run button. I'm all set up and I feel, I kind of feel like that the Peloton lady, like the scared wife. Day one, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> So if this whole setup works like I think it should, uh, I'll be able to start walking on the treadmill and that'll make Norman Reedus start walking in the game all without touching any of this part of the controller. Here we go, first steps, come on. Get that threshold, hey! He's walking! I'm walking in real life and he's walking in the game! Yeah! Oh, all right, stop, stop walking, stop walking. Oh, oh, God, oh, oh, the humanity, no, oh, Jesus! No, stop, stop, stop falling! Okay, he's okay, he's, uh... <laughs> oh, it's a lot harder playing with the treadmill. All right, let's try that again. I'll make sure to uh, press the shoulder buttons here to balance. Um, start walking, start walking. Come on, there you go. There you go, Norman Reedus. Okay, walking in real life, walking in the game. Now this is a really steep slope, so once it, once it straightens out a little bit, I'm gonna try running, because I should be able to also run in real life and make Norman run in the game. All right, this is a pretty good straightaway. So I'm gonna pick up the pace. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, I'm running and he's running. We're running together. <laughs> this is so stupid! Go! Go, Norman, go! Oh, no, okay, wait. This is actually, this is actually really kind of nauseating. <laughs> it really, really gets you, gets you in the quads and the stomach. Yeah. All right, here we go. We made it to the base. Oh, this this is a good, good a place to take a break. All clear. <sighs> uh, let's take a look here. Am I, am I sweating? Oh my God, look at that. This is real. This is all, <laughs> this is a real workout. Oh my God. Yeah. <sighs> I think this will work. The number one critique of this game is that it's a walking simulator. Yes, yeah, so that's exactly what you're going to be doing. So right now you're Norman Reedus, okay. there's a corpse strapped to your back. Yeah. There's no left joystick on this controller anymore. Yeah. All right, so all you have to do is walk forward on the treadmill. Get more lights out. <laughs> it's so dark in here. <laughs> oh, the projector. Uh. To balance, you want to use left and right trigger. Other than that, all you really need to know is that this moves your camera angle, so that's how you're going to steer. And then just walk. You okay, have to walk right. pretty hard to okay. make it go. Okay. Okay. Alright. You're going! You're walking! Right. You're walking in the right. game and you're walking in real life! Oh. Keep going! Keep going! Oh. Keep going! Oh. Oh. I'm running! Faster, bro! Oh you got this! Uh, go faster! My thighs! <laughs> okay, Alan. Follow the road! Follow the road! Focus on my ass! Follow the road! Oh. You're, you're, you're in charge of the camera! Don't make the camera do that! You're gonna, you're gonna fall over! You're gonna fall over! I'm literally gonna fall over! Take a 
drink, Kelly. Take a drink. Drink your monster energy. Just keep going. If you need to tap out, let us know. We'll get one of these guys to tap in for you, okay? Oh, this walking. is really tough. This is really tough. <laughs> I don't know how video game characters do this. <laughs> now, in the in the game, I think you walk about a kilometer to get to this. To get to wait, the final wait, 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 what? Jabril, how you doing? Help me. <laughs> Help me. Do you enjoy this? I do not enjoy this <laughs> at all. Would you? No, but this is the most realistic game that you could possibly play because you have to walk to walk. Okay. All right, someone tap out. It's Evan. Okay. Someone tap out. All right, who wants to play Death Stranding? Oh, Jesus, my legs are on fire. Uh, <laughs> I don't think anyone else would play this. Uh, oh my God, how much more energy does it take to make this go? Oh, yeah. There, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Now just walk, go around the mountain. This right. is on the other side of this mountain. This side? Peter, Peter, don't, don't fall over, Peter. I'm gonna fall over. Uh, goes, this Peter, you're gonna fall over. Peter, you <laughs> fell over. Peter. Peter, you fell over. <laughs> Dead body. Why? It's a cat like a using corpse. <laughs> Peter, are you having fun? This is kind of fun. <laughs> not really. <laughs> Yeah, there's a bunch of rocks now. Get a ladder. Uh, I'm not sure how the ladder works with the treadmill. Uh, Try it. Press uh, square to climb uh, it. Okay. And then just keep oh, oh, keep oh, the oh, oh. Don't stop. Don't yeah. stop. The camera angle is what makes you. Yeah. Right. You got it. You got it. So balance. 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 Oh, balance. Oh, balance. Oh, <laughs> guys, give it to me the hard part. All you have to do is walk, you idiot. You're so close, Peter. We're at the incinerator. Drift, 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 drift. You have to keep that first step. Oh, 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 okay, 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 yeah, you got it, you got it. Don't fall, you're right in front of the incinerator. You're oh, right in front of the incinerator. <laughs> <laughs> hold it, hold it, hold square. Huh? We made it! Peter, give me some, <laughs> yeah. How do you rate Alan's invention? It's actually not bad. I expected a lot worse, especially because it's Alan. How many quarters would you have put into it at an arcade? One. I mean, it's painful. You haven't gone yet, because you're- Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. behind the camera, and he has a wall. That's right. <laughs> okay, so you gotta avoid those ghosts. Right. And it, if you don't, they'll kill you. What are the ghosts? They're, um, they're dead I Can you explain the baby first? <laughs> uh, what? What? And don't touch them, because the I am, I am. Walk, walk harder, walk harder. Walk harder. Walk harder. There, uh, there you go. go. Yeah, you gotta tap There the you go. Well, no, 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 no. Jar baby. <laughs> Third favorite part was Alan screaming at me. <laughs> Alan, nice torture device. No, it's, it's we're all losing weight here. I think this is an absolute win. I'm also like not in the best shape I've been in my life. So I don't Will, think it's as hard as it looks. You look it's skinnier just... already, Will. <laughs> Do you feel skinnier? Did I look, Did I look fat before? <laughs>